In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to make at least $10 every day trading features on the Binance app. Okay, so this is Binance features trading on the mobile app. I'm going to walk you step by step on how to know when to enter a buy trade, how to know when to enter a sell trade, how to know where to set your take profit, your stop loss, the type of leverage you'll be using. All of these are things I'll be showing you and we are just going to base this tutorial on the app. So it means that after this video tutorial, you should be able, okay, to use your Binance mobile app to start trading features and you stand a chance to make at least $10 and above on a daily basis. All right. So we need a Binance account and then we need an account with trading view. All of this will be demonstrated using the app. Okay. So if you don't have an account with Binance, you can use the link in the video description to sign up for one. Same thing happened for trading view there are links in the description to sign up for an account all right so with that being said if you are new to the channel if you love videos about crypto trading and investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel okay so once you log into your binance app all right once you log into your binance app to assess your futures trading so this is where you see okay these menus you see down here okay this one is the futures trading menu so that is what we're going to click on okay so go ahead and click on that now if you are doing this for the first time binance will have to ask you to you know open a futures trading account for yourself so you just need to follow the on-screen instruction to open an account now if you have a binance account already you'll be asked when you're creating the futures account you'll be asked for a referral code i will equally leave the futures trading referral code in the video description you may want to use that okay all right so now once you create your account once you uh, create your official trading account this is what it looks like okay um we have at the top here the usd m features we have the coin m features okay we have the option and then we have this other one but our focus here is just on the usd m features okay usd m features because we are going to be trading with usdt okay or busd so these are stable coins on the Binance exchange, BUSD or USDT, meaning that if we open any position, whether we are predicting that Bitcoin will go up or down, whenever it goes in our favor and the contract is settled, we are going to be getting our profit and our reward in USDT or BUSD. If you want to use the coin M features, then you need to have Bitcoin, you need to have Ethereum, you need to have BNB, any of the coin you want to trade, okay, you need to have that particular coin to be able to use the coin M features. Meaning that if you trade with the coin M features, if you trade BTC and you have BTC, you get settled in BTC and so on. But our focus is, you know, the USD M features. Now, whatsoever we do here, you can do that here. The only difference is that this has to do with the coin itself okay and then this has to do with stable coins which is usdt and busd all right so after that the next thing is to select the coin you want to trade which in this case is btc usdt now as a beginner what advice you do is always trade either btc or Ethereum. if you don't understand any odd coin okay don't because the coin is pumping you rush and jump into it I'm going to show you how to get, you know, nowhere to enter a trade with using trading view, but let's finish with Binance first. Okay. So make sure that you're always trading BTC. Okay. Or Ethereum. That way you'll be able to minimize your losses. Okay. So after that, the next step we have here is the margin mode. Now we have two margin mode. Okay. We have isolated and then we have the cross margin mode. The difference between these is if I go ahead and click on this isolated on the arrow, okay you see that we have cross and then we have isolated now for beginners always use isolated okay the difference between these two is that if i have some funds in my account as you can see here there are some funds here balance on my account or my trading account okay not on the binance account as a whole whatever funds you have on your futures trading account if you are using cross mode you are risking the whole of this okay it has its own benefit when you're using cross if i'm using cross let's say if in isolate, um, isolated mode, my liquidation was supposed to be, uh, let's say I enter Bitcoin at 17,000 and then I'm using isolated. If my liquidation is supposed to be at, um, you know, let's say 15,000, but with the cross mode, depending on the balance you have, your um, 
liquidation will not be further okay from what the isolator would have given you but the different here is that when you use cross mode you are risking the whole of your account balance even if you are using only ten dollars out of the account balance to trade you are risking everything meaning that if you get liquidated you will lose your money okay then if you use cross mode if you are risking hundred dollar in a trade if you get liquidated it is only in the hundred dollar you are going to risk that is the difference so as a beginner always use the isolated mode okay so we select isolated once we select isolated okay the next thing is to select the leverage here where you see 3x leverage okay this is where you are going to select your leverage so if i go ahead and click on the arrow there you see that on the binance app you can trade from as little as 1x leverage to 125x leverage okay you can trade from as little as this down there so what you want to do as a beginner make sure you're always trading with 1x 2x uh, let's say anything from 1 to 10x leverage don't go above 10x leverage okay now what leverage does is that it allows you for instance if you have hundred dollar okay you are starting your trading journey with hundred dollar now when you have hundred dollar and you're using 10x leverage what that simply means is that you are getting going to get a value of 10 times the amount of money you have so in this case it means that we can open a position worth a thousand dollars okay that way we'll be able to make um, um, let's say if the market moves by hundred percent okay it will now be hundred percent of a thousand dollars okay because our, our funds has you know been multiplied by the number of leverage we are using if it is 125x leverage it means that your money will be multiplied by 125 times okay that is what leverage is the higher the leverage the bigger the size of the profit you make and then the quicker you get you know taken out of the market as well so i want you to take note of that the higher your leverage okay the higher the profit you make and then the quicker you get taken out of the market so you want to make sure that you're always using a lower leverage until when you are good you know you know what you're doing that you can increase your leverage going forward okay so after selecting your leverage the next thing is to transfer funds into your futures trading account okay so here i have 16 usdt by default that will be zero so to do that you want to click on these two arrows okay that are facing each other go ahead and click on the arrow and then whenever you deposit money into your account okay the funds will always be on your spot wallet so you want to make sure that you are transferring from the spot wallet to the fishers wallet okay and what we are transferring is usdt so you go ahead and put the amount of usdt you want to transfer here if you want to transfer everything from your spot you can click on max after that go ahead and confirm and once you confirm that the funds will be transferred into your officials trading account so you can not be having those funds here all right so after that now when you whenever you want to enter a trade we have limit order these are all the other types okay we have market a limit order we have the post on the order we have market order stop limit okay um stop market then we'll have the training stop and then the twap order type okay now the or the other types that are very popular that you'll be using most of the time is either the limit okay and the market all right so what you want to understand is that if i'm using the limit order all right once i go ahead and select limit order it means that i can set to either long or short the market based uh, whether higher than the current price this is the current price okay so if i use limit order i can put in my price here to either short or long the market lower than this current price or higher than this current price okay that is what the limit order is if i want to buy btc for instance when it gets to 17 600 i can use limit order if i want to buy when it gets to 16 000, i can equally use limit order so limit order allows you to either set a pending order above the current price or below the current price okay so that is limit and then for the market for the market order if i use market order it means that whenever i open either a short or a long position it will be open with the current price okay it will be open immediately with the current price now another thing you need to know here is that there is a um, difference between um, the fees you pay when you are using market order and limit order okay so market orders are takers you know they are taken by force from the market so they pay higher fee while limit orders are makers 
all of these you see here okay are all limit orders so they are makers in the market they are liquidity providers in the market so they pay lower fees okay that is another thing you need to understand and then after that if you use market order you don't need to put amount okay but if you use limit order okay you need to put in what uh, the price here all right so after that you are going to put the amount now you can use this slider here okay to select if i go ahead and select the slider to 100 percent it means that what i'm actually doing is to use 100 percent of the balance that i have here okay as you can see it says 100 percent so if you have a balance here and you want to use a certain percentage of that amount to enter a trade you just go ahead and use the slider okay to select if it is 50 percent you want you can bring it to 50 60 or thereabout and after that you enter then the next thing is to check this this is where you set your take profit and your stop loss okay before you enter a trade you can set this in advance by checking this okay let's say i enter this trade at this price and i'm going to buy or open long position i want to take profit when this increases upward okay so you put that price here what you are targeting if I'm going to short this, okay, by opening a short position or predicting that the market will go down, it means that when it goes down to a certain level, I want to take profit. So you put that price here before you enter the trade, okay? Another way you can do that is that you can set your take profit and stop loss after a trade has been triggered. I will show you that because I have a current trade that is already running, okay? So if I scroll down here, now on these buttons, you see open long and then open short. Now in the features trading on the binance app okay in the crypto space when we talk about features trading when they say open long or long it means that you are predicting that the market is going to go up okay so you can either buy or sell when you are selling or opening short it means that you are predicting that the market will go down okay we'll look at how you can know when the market will go up or when it will go down all right so before we go into that let me just show you a running trade and explain everything you need to understand whenever you open a position okay now when you open a position all right when you open a position all of them will be under these open um, orders all right pending uh, let, let's say you open limit orders all of them will be under these open orders okay so you will see all of the positions you open here now when the position get triggered when it is actually trading okay you will see it under positions okay right now i have one position so if i go ahead and click on the position and I scroll down here you see that it is BTC USDT perpetual okay and then I am using as you can see this is the instrument I'm trading and I'm using isolated and it is 3x leverage okay I'm using 3x leverage now the current return right now on this trade is that it is minus 3.34 meaning that the market is going against me so because i am risking in this the margin here is 17 dollars now minus three percent or 3.2 percent of this 17 dollars is what you are seeing here okay if it is plus three percent then the same thing would have been here then this red would have turned to green okay so this is what it cost me to open this position and i'm using 3x leverage on isolated mode okay so now binance is letting me know that i will get liquidated when my price gets to eleven thousand okay seven hundred and uh, forty seven okay that is when i will get liquidated now liquidation occur when you don't use stop losses okay a lot of traders are fond of that they will open a position without using stop losses all right now because i'm using isolated and i use a certain amount here i'm ready to raise the whole of this money okay so i may not necessarily put liquid uh, put uh, um, stop loss okay but for those of you who are opening with bigger account okay a thousand dollars ten thousand and the rest you need to put stop loss all right that way let's say out of ten thousand if it is one percent you are risking it means that if the market goes against you by minus hundred dollars uh, or thereabout it goes ahead and stop it instead of getting liquidated and losing the whole of your money all right so that is liquidation now i told you that whenever you open a position you can set your take profit and stop loss after the position has been triggered you can do that using the stop profit and loss option okay if i want to close this trade right now i can go ahead and close the position using this option okay then if i want to adjust the leverage you can go ahead and do that here but there is no need for this okay now if you want to add more usdt to this account to push this liquidation further you can click here on this plus icon to add more money but i don't advise you to do that because whatever funds you have add here 
does not affect the profit you make okay you can only push your liquidation price further all right so now if i want to set take profit and stop loss for this trade i just go ahead and click on the stop profit and loss okay so if i go ahead and click on that so here at the top you see position okay take profit and stop loss make sure you click on that all right so once you click on that you can now set your take profit here okay and your stop loss here let's say i want to take profit when the price gets to eighteen thousand. okay you can do that here and it will tell you that when it gets to eighteen thousand, this is the profit you make okay now the profit you make all depends on the amount of margin you use okay and the leverage so if you want to put your stop loss you go ahead and do that as well so i want to put stop loss when it gets to 16 for instance okay so it tells you that when it gets to 16 you are going to lose this amount of money so once you are done just click on confirm and that will be triggered okay all right so now be, when we talk of leverage if i have used 100 dollar in this account and i'm using um 10x leverage in this trade it means that for every one percent move i am making one dollar okay because $100 with 10x leverage would have given us a position size worth $1,000. So with every 1% move, okay, I'll be making a dollar. Then with every minus 1% or 2% move, I'll be making minus $1 or $2, okay? So for every 10% move, you are making $10 with $100. For every 10% move, you are making $10 with $100. Now, if you predict the market very well, okay, you know when to enter long, when to enter short and the rest, you should be able to be making that ten dollars on a daily basis that way you will gradually grow your official trading account on the binance platform okay now how do you determine when to enter long when to enter short and the rest that is when trading view now comes in play so we are going to use trading view and i'll show you how to do that all right so this is what trading view looks like okay if you don't know how to use trading view i made a step-by-step -step video guide on how to use trading view on the app Okay, I will leave the link in the video description or you can see the video popping up at the top right. Okay, now when you come to trading view, this is my watch list. I've added some of the coins that I want to watch or trade on my watch list. Okay, this is what it looks like, but I want to go ahead and click on BTC. Okay, since I say you should trade BTC on Ethereum, so make sure you're that. So I'll click on BTC. Now when you click on BTC, this is the chart. This is what it gives you. Okay, now this is what it gives you. Now we are using trading view because there are some indicators here we can use set alert for them which those options are not available on binance so whenever we get alert here we we'll go to binance and take that trade okay so um to do that i'll go ahead and click on this plus icon to add an indicator to this chart click on the plus icon okay so once you click on the plus icon you want to go ahead and click on indicator so once you click on indicator you want to come to the search bar here and type in pivot okay so this is the indicator that i'm using okay um that i am using for the buy and sell signals so make sure that you are using the same indicator and the indicator name is this pivot point super trend okay by this is the developer of this indicator so make sure you put in this indicator into the chart so go ahead and click on it after that the next indicator to add to the chart is the ema okay the moving average so just type in your ema okay so once you type in your ema you see this moving average exponential go ahead and click on it all right these are the two indicators we need for this okay to work for us so once you add up these two indicators if i go ahead okay let me open them up now this is what the indicator looks like okay this is what it looks like this is for the pivot point super trend it gives you this buy okay it gives you this buy okay so and then sell signals as well so it gives you another sell signal somewhere around here all right so now for the um super trend the pivot point super trend okay we're not going to do anything there but for the ema so if i click on the ema here all right once i click on it you see this setting icon pop up okay click on the setting icon now by default if i come to the input level here by default when you plot in this ema into your chart it will be showing you the length here will be showing nine by default so make sure you change it to 200 okay once you change it to 200 from the input click on the style okay so when we go to the style you want to make sure that you click 
this icon this is the color of that indicator which is the EMA all right so it is blue if you want to change it to something else you can change any color of your choice here but um, it will always be on this thickness okay the thickness will be on this first one so you can use the second or the third one so that you'll be able to see the line very well okay once you do that that is all you need to do just go ahead and click on okay to okay out of that so once you do that now we are using the ema to determine the trend of the market okay why we use the pivot point super trend to take our trade okay so that is what we are going to do now whenever these candlesticks whenever these candlesticks are trading this is the 200 ema line okay whenever the candlesticks are trading above this 200 ema line we are looking for a buy signals okay and then whenever the candlesticks are trading below the 200 ema line we are looking for a sell signal that is exactly how to use these indicators all right now this can work with any time frame the time frame i'm currently looking at this is the one hour time frame okay if you want to use it on the 15 minutes time frame go ahead and click on this all right maybe your own will be showing one day one day okay which is one day if you want to use this on the 15 minutes time frame go ahead and click on that and that will load up the 15 minutes time chart for you okay this is the chart so remember that whenever the candlesticks are trading below the 200 moving average we look we only take a sell signal okay so for instance let's say we are taking this signal that we just saw here okay now remember that the candles were trading below right so let's say we take the signal now this signal open up from here this is where it opens up and then it followed the trend until it got here before we got another buy signal okay until here now if you have taken this trade alone let's see uh, one thing i need to do here is to go back and click on this plus icon so once i click on the plus icon i want to go ahead and use this um so go ahead and scroll down click on drawing okay click on drawing so once you click on drawing you want to scroll down to where it says scroll down until you get to these predictions and measurement okay where you say these are prediction and measurement too so you want to now because it is a short position we are going to use a short if it is a long you go ahead and use this but let's use the short position too so i'll select the short position too and then i'll click here so once i click it to add that to our chart all right so here let's assume we saw the signal here then our entry we now entered the market somewhere around here or thereabout okay and then we are targeting to make two times or three times the amount of money we are risking okay so i will just put in as i drag this down okay now what i want you to pay attention to is this number this number here that says risk reward ratio okay this is what i want you to pay attention to this is 3.4 okay so one thing I, I normally do is i target three times the amount of money i'm risking so three times the amount of money I'm risking, it means that I need to drag this until it gets to 3.1, okay? So it means that, what this simply means is that if I'm risking 1% here, okay, I'm making three times that amount of money. That is why you see this bar is, the size of this bar is three times the size of the red here, okay? That is how you do that. And then here becomes your stop loss. This is where you set your stop loss. This is the price you set your stop loss. This is the price you set your take profit and this will become your entering price okay in most cases you don't pay attention to this because you use market order so once you are done with that the next thing is to go to binance and plot this into binance all right that way you'll be able to you know start using that now the last thing i need to show you is how to set a lot because how do you know when you get a sell signal and then how do you know when you get a buy signal and all of this all right so one thing we want to do now is to go ahead and set a lot first we need to determine the trend let's say you wake up in the day and you look at this what exactly are you looking at so here you want to look at the trend of the market on any time frame at all you select your time frame then look at the trend if the candlesticks are trading below then you go ahead and wait all right now if you for instance wanted to enter a trade and then you see that it has already gone far you wait for another opportunity because in most cases you see that the moving average sells as both support and resistance so you see that the price went up here okay and then this become a resistance so it couldn't break through and then came down again and you got this sell signal 
at the top here so you would have waited and taken another trade okay so you don't just sit down and look at the trade or look at the chart all you need to do is to set a lot to be able to do that all you need to do now is to come in here to the plus icon again click on it so once you click on the plus icon you want to go ahead and select a lot okay so once you select a lot now this dialog box pops up now it will tell you to set a lot for btc we don't want to set for btc so go ahead and click on you know click on that so we want to set the alert for this indicator the buy and sell signal indicator okay go ahead and click on that so you select that indicator now when you select the indicator what signals do you want to set now remember that the candlesticks are trading below the 200 moving average so for now we want to be taking only sell signals so one thing we want to do is to change it from buy signal okay to sell signal okay now it tells you to do this once okay or you do it once per bar do it uh, once per minute it all depends on what you want okay you can go ahead and do it whatever is, uh, you want but the option i normally use is this one per bar close okay so i'll go ahead and do that and then you set expiration date when do you want this to expire whatever time you want to stay in the market let's say you enter the market now and you want to close by either 10 11 you go ahead and set the time here so by that time the alert will expire okay it means that you need to set up another alert to be able to carry this then the next thing you want to do is how do you want to get this alert okay um, push notification it means that on your phone you will get the notification from your phone okay the app will notify you then show desktop pop-up if you are using a desktop to to open trading view to equally pop up there if you want it to send you an email you can equally select that option okay whatever option you like you do that then when you scroll down these are all the notifications you can get okay when you scroll down here you cannot name your alert type in the name you want to name this okay and then here it tells you the message whenever it pops up what you want will say okay i can go ahead and say oh a sell signal just popped okay or i can go ahead and say um sell signal then maybe put a dash and then say sell now okay so once you are done with that the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and click on create alert so whenever the sell signals appears you get the pop-up notification or whatever you have chosen okay if it is email you'll get those notification and then you can now come to binance all right so when you set the alert let's say it pops up when it appears here okay and then you saw this you just go ahead and use your short position to measure where you want to take profit where you want to set your stop loss after you put in all of that okay after you put in all of that you want to go to binance and take those trade so now when you come to binance you can now use either limit or market order to enter a trade set your take profit and your stop loss and you are done for that trade okay remember whenever you risk hundred dollars in a trade whenever you enter a trade with hundred dollars and you're using 10x leverage for every one percent move you are making in a one dollar meaning that you don't need to stay in the market to 100 percent if you are able if you get opportunity to stay in the market for 100 200 percent 300 percent then it means that you're making that amount of exact amount of money okay equivalent to what you have raised in that trade all right i just wanted to walk you step by step on how to do this and um binance equally have what they call their calculator okay i've made videos on how to use the futures trading calculator i will equally leave a link in the video description so you can go ahead click on the calculator and use it to calculate the amount of money you make whenever you enter a trade before you actually okay so once the calculator loads up what you normally this is how it looks like you can calculate for either a long position or short position okay you can get your target price your liquidation price where it to be you can use the calculator i've made a step-by-step -step video i will leave that video in the video description okay i'll leave a link to the video in the video description so you use this to calculate to know what exactly you are expected to make when entering a trade before entering that trade all right i hope this video was helpful if you do gain value from it give it a thumbs up all right and if you want to learn more you can join the community by joining the telegram group with the links in the video description that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video